It's big dog season. And you can't stay still because you want it. Mm hmm. Talk that talk, George. You still scraping your plate because you're hungry. Mm hmm. Talk that talk. Good morning. Today is Tuesday, July 30th. End of July, y'all. One more day, I think we got one more day. July 30th, 2024. Grayson. Good morning. Yeah, he, I'm over here. He's just running around here. Running around here. Did you sleep well last night, Grayson? I slept well. All right, go ahead. Defund the police. I heard that battle cry and I understood what they meant. Defund the police was a movement meant to take powers away from the police and take policemen away from certain situations that people end up deadly encounters that shouldn't exist where we can bring in people who are better trained to handle certain types of situations. Defunding the police was about taking police off the streets. It was taking money instead of putting all these police officers out here, putting Counselors are people who better off helping people who are having mental health problems. This is a prime example of what should have took place. This officer who ran into who who shot this woman, Ms. Massey, Sonia Massey, she was having mental health problems. She was known to have hallucinations. She was having mental health issues that night. When she said a prowler was outside her home before she was shot dead by him over supposedly some boiling water, that he asked her to take off the stove, that he asked her to turn down. If he had felt that, first off, there's so many questions I have here. Why did they go inside her house? That's the first question I have. Why did they step foot inside this woman's house? Why would they question about who she was? They rang the doorbell. She really didn't even answer the door at first. Come here, Grayson. He didn't take my damn shoe. Come here. Bring that shoe to me. Here, Ginger. He ran over here and took my damn shoe and ran off with it. He likes to hold my shoe hostage. And try to give him one of these damn doggy biscuits here. We that. So anyway, how did they? Why did they go inside her house? Defund the police. They ain't had no business going inside that woman's house. They took it upon themselves to march inside this house. That officer who is charged is rightfully so charged. Because he did a lot of shit in this video, that video. <laughs> Including having his camera off. He flipped it on right before. He should have flipped it on when he first got there. Good thing the other officer had his on so we can get a pitch, better picture of what was taking place. This one was having some mental health issues that night. And they realized that something wasn't right with her. They, but see, that wasn't up for them to make that just call what's wrong with her. That's why they say defund to bring police. Let's bring in other counselors or people who can handle it. All they have to do is call back down and hey, we got a problem going on over here. We're waiting outside the house. Tell me what's going on. Can you send someone else? Because are, are we out of here? Because we really can't. There's no problem here. We're done. We're going to leave her. She's fine. There's nothing going on here. And that woman would have been alive today. That's all they had to do. But they took it upon themselves, they're going to investigate deeper. We're going to go inside. And they asked her about the boiling water on the stove. Did she throw the water at them? I don't know. I think the water probably ended up on the floor. Right? At, at one point, that's probably because... <laughs> okay, listen. This is a 228-pound, six-foot-one man with a gun. He couldn't back up or step back outside. Why did they go inside? Why were they crashing all these questions? This is a lot of questions. Defund the police because clearly they don't know what they're doing in certain scenarios. And this is one of them. This is why people end up dead. Our officers end up injured. 
I wouldn't have went inside that house. I came out with an officer. Man, there ain't no... Listen, yeah, I'm the type of police officer. I'm going to come out there and let you know. I don't see no problems over here. You okay, ma'am? I'll see you later. We're going to get some donuts. All right, let's go get on get that car. We're out of here. No problems. Everything looks fine. No problems. You all right, ma'am? You okay? All right, we'll see you later. From a distance. I don't look like no superhero. And I'm definitely not going to go in there investigating something. Being at, we came looking for a prowler. We don't see one. Nobody's here. You okay? Okay. He went on about my damn business. They took it themselves to go in the house and question her and ID her and all this stuff. What was all that about? Just an asshole police officer. Defund the police. Because they stupid. Some of these officers are just flat out stupid. You agree with me, don't you, Grace? They stupid, ain't they? Yeah, they stupid. Yeah, they stupid. Yeah, they stupid and dangerous and deadly folk. They'll kill you. Yeah, they stupid. You want that coffee, don't you? Mm -hmm. They've been running around here all morning. Speaking of stupid. So I had to rush Earl to the hospital yesterday. So he's back over there at Emory. Emory is a great hospital. That's a really, really good hospital over there, Emory. Um... The one on Claremont Road, I don't know, but I can't speak about the other ones, but the one on Claremont Road is a very, very, very good hospital. And there were some issues he was having, and he's supposed to have started work yesterday, but I had been noticing all summer long, Earl's health had been declining all summer, and he can't, I can't say nothing to him. But I had turn it into some big debate. So I don't say nothing, y'all. I don't say nothing. I just look and say, okay, something wrong with this nigga. He barely walking around here. Literally, he was barely getting around here. And I was like, okay, what is going on here? And I, I want to intervene and I want to say something, but why? Because it's just going to turn into a big argument because I think I know everybody. I'm not a doctor and all this, but nigga, you barely walking. What's wrong with you? And I'm like, okay, so I don't say nothing, y'all. Just, you know, genuinely, if you ever dealt with ignorant ass niggas, you learn what I, I just sit in silence. And sometimes it ain't worth saying nothing about. Earl don't go to the hospital until he had death's door. Me, and when I wake up, ooh, child, I don't feel good. I'm going, my head's a doctor. What am I waiting for until I'm crawling around the house? So yesterday, I know this is off topic, but yesterday he finally had confessed he couldn't breathe. He needed to help he kind of take him to the hospital. I said, okay, what has been going on for weeks now? Something's been going on with you, but you, okay, let me, I got on up, got dressed. Took him on over to the hospital. <laughs> All I can do is take him on in there and drop his ears off. Um, guy I went up there and hung out with him most of the day. Trying, I'm trying to figure out, too. They had 30 doctors in there asking questions. That's a very good hospital. It was, Luckily, he was, the hospital room wasn't crowded. I know this is off subject and it should be a separate video, but I'm tired. I was up there all day, too. <coughs> but anyway, we'll get back to Mr. Bank, Mr. Mr. Earl's such a scenario, whatever going on with him. Uh, but they did give him a blood transfusion, so I thought that was kind of interesting. So something, he was anemic. And they gave him some blood. It just, I don't know, y'all. But anyway, we told you to be two different people who can come and take care of help. We're also going to get him to take care of his motherfucking help. I'm not going to sit up in this house not feeling well and wait till I'm at death's door before I get rushed to a hospital. Uh -uh. I'm going way before we get to that point. All right, quiet. Leave Ginger alone. Defund the police. That was the rally cry. People marching, protesting. It didn't get nowhere because people didn't understand what defund the police meant. They didn't understand it. They didn't understand what defund the police meant. They didn't understand it here. Because they thought, get rid of the police. No, it wasn't get rid of the police. It was take some of the money and resources that we put in police for tanks and all this other shit, and guns and all this shit and all this crazy shit that some police do, departments do, and bring in people who can handle mental health issues and some people police encounter at, on a daily basis. Clearly this woman was having some mental health issues. She was, she was known to have mental health issues. I did some research on this. There's another video I would like to show if I can download it. My computer hasn't been acting right. I'm gonna try to download it and put it in there. Otherwise I'm gonna put the link in there so you can read it because it goes into deep, more, it's quiet. Okay, I'm gonna put y'all on that porch. 
Because this is starting to get ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah, let me put them on this porch. Because they get into my damn nerves. They want them. They just, it's determined. It's straight as video. Come here. Again, I sat down and didn't turn on this air. Let me turn on the air conditioning. I need this thing. Defund the police. Bring in people who are better situated to run these, um, to, to, in, when police encounter these people having uh, mental health issues, this woman should not have ended up dead in that house. They just should have never went inside that house. They ain't had the access for no ID. They saw no problem was there. They realized something was going on with her. They should have reported back, hey, everything's okay. Something wrong with her. She seems to be fine. Ma'am, are you fine? We out of here. Because they're not trained to handle somebody going through a mental health crisis. So what are you going inside the house for? What are we going, what are they, what are we going inside the house to do? What are they going to do? What was the point of going in there? Hmm. You know, I am 54 years of age and I could probably count on my hands the times I've called 911 to my house because I don't want them bastards over here in my home. Because every encounter I've had with the police hasn't been pleasant. So why would I call them to my house? If there's a prowler out there, he's going to stay outside until the morning time. If I hear noise outside my house, driveway or house, I mean, we know this woman's having mental health issues, but me personally ain't calling 911. For what? It was them ignorant motherfuckers. <laughs> Defund the police. So we can get officers. You need officers. Now he over there, Grace is just really carrying on today. You need officers who know how to handle people who are having mental health issues. Take some of the funding from all this police training and bring in people who are psychiatrists, doctors, who can handle, because we got a large group of Americans going through mental health issues. Have you seen, have you ever heard of the Make America Great Men movement? All them motherfuckers ignorant and need mental health therapy. Every last one of them. All of them. Sick, sick crazy as hell. Anyway, defund the police, bring in pe people, train, bring in people who are better trained officers. And, and maybe, my, and for me, I was thinking, take the money and, and hire police officers, pay them larger salaries to bring in more highly educated police officers. That's how I felt. Instead of just hiring any old body that walks in and says, I want a police, uh, police officer. No, let's, let's see what your background is. Because clearly, this man should not have been a police officer. He shouldn't have been one. Yeah, they, he said he had two DUIs and some other issues with these police departments. The man that shot and killed Ms. Massey, he shouldn't have been a police officer, period, at all. He should not have been one. But obviously, since there are so few people who want to work for police department, and remember that a lot of places don't, people don't want to work for the police. They don't pay you nothing, and you know, all the shit you got to go through, they don't really pay you. It ain't worth it. I haven't heard one candidate, either Republican or Democrat, say, let's revamp the police departments to make it work for the entire community, for everyone, so that we don't have these types of scenarios. Hire educated officers who are better trained in handling people who have mental health issues or whatever else they're encountering. There's a difference between somebody who's having a mental health issue and somebody who's out there just, just uh, creating criminal activity. Grayson, you're about to go in that cage. I'm about to take his ass downstairs. He's really just carrying on out there trying to tear this damn door up. And I barely got sleep last night. He is really, really, really clowning today. I was then I was being nice to him running around the house where I'd sit here and have my cup of coffee and you know, I'm really on my second cup. 
that he's acting crazy. But anyway, defunding the police, hiring better police officers, bringing officers who could understand scenarios right off the bat. I mean, we were watching the video. I, mean, I, I, I finally watched the video. I didn't really want to watch it, but people were calling me and saying, well, let me watch the video. I don't like the way this officer's handled that scenario at all. They never should have stepped foot inside that woman's house when they realized there was no power there. They walked around the house and when they started talking to her and realized that something was kind of off with this woman, they should have left. Yet he sent her over there to take the hot water off the stove. Why did he just step over there and turn it off himself? Wouldn't that made more sense? Oh, ma'am, you got this water. Let me turn this off for you. Since you ran up in the house any damn way. But anyway, they can get miles. You think I'm calling 911? I hear noise outside, but I'm not having mental health issues over here either. Uh, I can tell you all the time, I, I can count on my hand a few times I've had to call uh, 911. It ain't too often. Because what am I kind of calling over there for? What can they do for me? What can you do for me, baby? Dun, 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 dun. Not a damn thing. I would have never called the police over to my house. And y'all can do whatever y'all want to do. Y'all are grown ass individuals. Do you? I ain't calling 911 over here. For what? Now, I am great. Like, oh, let me, hold on a second. Let, me, let me help Grayson now. I need to snatch his ass up. His cage is downstairs. Hold on. I'm going on this other deck over here. Let me, Grayson. All morning, you have been being bad. Why? Why? I didn't get you food and water, toys to play with, best biscuits. Come on. Let's get you another biscuit. Yeah, I'm not going to be eating these damn things. Come on. Come on. I put them on the other deck over there. <sighs> Whew. Try to hide in this damn house. Humid. Close this damn door because I'll see you about ready to start howling in a minute. <sighs> Defund the police. They didn't get much done, did they? People didn't understand what they were talking about. People didn't know what they're, well, I left that door open. Well, they've charged this officer. That don't mean shit. Just because an officer get charged don't necessarily mean they're going to get convicted or even indicted on the charges. I don't care if she did throw the water or didn't throw the water. Why would he, he went closer to her. He, why would you send her? If you felt, I uh, if you felt unsafe, and she said, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus, she was really being just being smart as like, what is wrong with you? She was, she was, she was, she was she, I don't think she was intent, intent on throwing no water on them. But they went inside her house. And they instructed her to go over there and turn off the water. And he should just went over there and turn the bowling water off himself if he felt his life was in danger. Or if he felt something was wrong with this woman. But I think this officer is probably just an asshole police officer. See, some officers, and we've all ran into them, some of these officers are just assholes. They think they, they power, they got the police, they can do this. In their mind, they're suffering forms of mental illness also. It's like the blind leading the blind. blind. I mean, it's just kind of like, okay, this man crazy. From the moment they got up and met her on the house, door, knocking on the door. But, you know, again... I'm not a police officer. Um, 
I've always met, I've met some friends who are police officers and some of the stuff that they say and do just is kind of mind boggling to me. Maybe it's part of their training that's just so fucked up that that's why they're trying to fight this police uh, facility being built here in Atlanta. Um, it's, it's, something needs to change. And this has been going on since before Rodney King got his ass whooped by the police. So I keep my distance from these officers because they, they're crazy as hell. I had an incident this past summer where I had to talk with an officer and he was such an asshole. I went, I didn't deal with him. I went to his supervisor. I went and called right over there to the supervisor and spoke to them and I got the issue resolved that I was having. I wasn't going to waste my time with his black ass, his white ass rather. Uh, for what? I went over his head. He didn't like that at all. But he did it. Once I went to the, over his head and, and, and reported him, everything got quickly resolved and I didn't pay him no attention after that. He was calling me I said, okay, you... What is your problem? We we resolved this problem. I went to your boss, not you. I'm done with you, motherfucker. But anyway, defund the police, bring in better police officers, hire better police officers, hire educated officers, hire people who got some sense, common sense. Don't hire officers who have past grievance, past issues and problems, especially if they have had. They say this man had two DUIs. I don't know what I don't know the significance of a DUI because I've never had one. But what I'm reading, if you have two DUIs, you can't even work certain jobs. So I don't know. I don't have never had a DUI. I don't drink and drive. I have no intentions of drinking and driving. I do know, you know, it's, I I know it's, it could be an issue, but I didn't know that you could be. It can have a um, um, effect on your hire being hiring for a job or something. I don't know. I'm just seeing what I saw on the internet. He had TDI, but I do see that he went through six other police departments in a short period of time. So that means that they are involved in, you, people just don't be leaving jobs so that something didn't happen and he had to get rid of his ass. He had some other issues too. So, but anyway, defund the police. It was a rally crowd. It was a march and there was protests with all the people. Then what happened? Yeah, because, you know, they, they flipped it. Oh, they're saying defund the police, get rid of the police. No, they didn't say get rid of the police. They said take the money, spread the funds, do the, spread the money around differently. Instead of hiring all these police officers uh, with guns and nightsticks and badges, they ain't doing shit, but in, harming innocent people. Brain, let's look at each individual situation. Clearly, when them officers got there and they met Ms. Massey at that door, and they should have known immediately something's not right here. As soon as the video starts, I said, okay, something wrong with this woman. They didn't clock that. Maybe they weren't trained to clock it. It's hot in here. Ooh, why is this air not on? Sometimes this app don't work. And I need to go over to the American Cloud and here, click on. Um. Um, well, hey, I don't know what to say. Well, anyway, I'm talking about this air conditioning. It's hot in this damn house. I'm drinking this coffee. I'm about to end this video. Love to hear you all's thoughts and opinions. Um, back to Earl for a minute. Earl and I have known each other since 1998. This is 2024. How many years is that? from 1998 2000 no that's in 1996 we met right before the Olympics 28 years of my life 20 is this right maybe this shit is wrong 2024 that's 28 years I've been dealing with this damn nigga if I could turn back time, if I could find some way, and I meant that with all my heart, y'all, because that nigga, you can't tell him nothing, but I knew this in 1996, so I'll take Full responsibility for my foolish behind 
for continuing in a situation with somebody who you couldn't tell nothing. And I knew this in 1996. But I, what I will say is I knew it, but really didn't understand it. You know how you know something, but you don't comprehend it? I comprehend it now. Comprehend that. I get it now. 28 years. 28 years. It's a long time to deal with somebody you can't tell them shit. But I've learned I can't tell no black folks nothing. Can't tell my mama, my brothers, my sisters, nieces, nephews. Nobody wants to listen. So I guess that's why I tolerate those bullshit because I said, well, these niggas don't want to listen to damn way. I just went about my business. I mean, okay, well, whatever. But what I should have did. And it's all water under the bridge at this point. Because 28 years is a long motherfucking time. I am sitting here thinking, in shock like, okay, 28 years. That's a long damn time. I met that man when I was 26 years of age. And I'm 54 now. And nothing has changed. Nothing's gotten better. You can't tell them shit. That's why they're up there at the hospital now. It's just what you want to me to do. What? I don't even know what to say. I literally could do 5,000 videos on Earl Banks and I's relationship. 5,000 plus videos. You can't tell that nigga nothing. He know everything. Don't want to listen. Don't want to listen to doctors, nurses, uh, nobody. It's like, okay, you're going to do what you want to do, huh? You're going to do it your way. I said, he's at the hospital right now. But anyway, you can make me another cup of coffee. Finish feeding these damn dogs, let them run around for a little bit. If I take a shower and run up to the and look at his ass and say, oh, okay, you ain't, what happened up here? Make sure I go look at his life insurance policy too before I go up there. Okay, we can go find over here. <clears throat> Shit. Today is Tuesday, July 30th. The year is 2024. It's um, humid. They say it's going to be hot and humid today. I should have been turning these air conditioning units on there because it's going to be hot. It's hot in here. Phew. Lord, it's humid. Uh, the humidity is going to be extremely hot today. And that's what they were saying on the news. It's going to be an index because it's so wet outside. I have to go out there in this damn heat. I, don't, I need a fucking vacation. I'm trying to plan to be a vacation. And this nigga in the hospital. I'm like, okay, how long is this going to be going on? <sighs> anyway. I'm out of here, y'all. Look forward to reading you all's comments, thoughts. What happened to the defund the police movement? Why didn't we get the changes from the police departments that we wanted to get back when all this George stuff happened with George? Um, I'm going to say George Foreman, but it ain't George Foreman. I always get him confused with the guy. Not the George Foreman grill, but you know, y'all know who I'm talking about. The other George that got killed by the police over there. Anyway, let me give me another coffee and get my day started. This is going to be a long, hot day today. And I'm about to turn this air conditioner up, turn this damn thing, get this house cooling off. All right, I'm out of here, and I'll speak to you all later. Bye.